it's ironic. The polling is overwhelming that the majority of the American people support Roe v. S. Wade. We have differences of opinion on abortion but the idea of overturning Roe v. S. Wade would be a decision that reflects only a small minority of the American people. So I hope very much that the next nominee for the Supreme Court does not hold that position. The bottom line is that this is an enormously, enormously important issue. Everything to do with women's rights gay rights solidifying the pro-corporate anti-worker wing of the Supreme Court I have no hope that Trump will appoint anyone resembling a moderate, or a justice who will take both sides into consideration. I think what he's looking for is the nomination of a right-wing extremist. When Merrick Garland nomination was brought forth by President Obama, Mitch McConnell said let the American people decide. You shouldn't be considering this important nomination just before an election. And he obstructed it and refused to allow a vote to take place. One dot I would say to Mitch McConnell, remember what you said when Obama was president. Let the American people have a vote in November as to whether or not they want to overturn Roe vs Wade allow discrimination against the gay and lesbian community make life harder for the working people of this country too. We have a few Republicans here the Senate who believe that it should be a woman who controls her own body and not the state or federal government. I hope that they will work with those of us who hold that position in opposition to any nominee who wants to take away that basic right that women should have. You need some consistency here. The most recent example is President Obama nominated a pretty guy to the Supreme Court and the Republican leadership said no. We're not going to let you vote on him. We should have an election first. I would hope that Mitch McConnell remembers what he said when Obama was president. It would be a very important factor in bringing people out to the polls. If Trump nominates somebody who wants to undo that kind of constitutional right that women now have, you're going to see a massive uprising on the part of people all over the country. Not just women, but men who think that decision should be left to women and not to the government. I think it's larger than one choice in one district. If you look at what happened in Maryland last night, Vangelis won a very strong victory, taking on much of the Democratic establishment in Maryland, campaigning on Medicare for all raising the minimum wage to $15-H legalizing marijuana making public colleges and universities tuition-free demanding the wealth start paying more in taxes what you are seeing in both New York City with Alexandria, in Maryland with Ben, are strong candidates running grassroots campaigns on a progressive agenda. When you have that combination you're going to see more and more victories all across this country. Thank you.